remember when you made that water, that water. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to a new season of Lost in Translation! Woo! As usual, we take a recipe, we put it into Google Translate. It goes from English to Finnish to Shona and many, many, many more. Finally back to English to give us this hilariously translated recipe. And there are gonna be a ton of surprises this season. So make sure to tune in every single week so you don't miss out. One thing will stay the same, we are definitely gonna keep torturing Jasmine. I'm sorry. Okay, let's get you in there. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. What is that? Oh, surprise, surprise, like I said. We have a new hint box, and what it means is we give you the hints in special ways now. We either have to act it, sing it, draw it, rhyme it. Okay, but now I have to give you what we really came here for. Here's the recipe. Thank you. You guys picked it. Pink pancake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting sweet, but you never know based on the title. Why did you look at that? I didn't look. I didn't. You literally did. I did. Roll back the footage. Let's get, let's Roll go. back the footage. Cute shirts, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Cute shirts. This is the new merch for Lost in Translation, suggested by you guys in the comments from last season. They're available now at shopbusby.com, so make sure to check it out. Now we get started. Let's do it. Yeah. Woo. Step number one. We prepare the team. <laughs> Team, you ready? Yes, yes. Half cup oatmeal, one tablespoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon baking powder, and a pinch of salt. Am I, am I, am I tearing up? up? We prepare the dough. Let me just take a look. Jaggery powder, chickpea flour, semolina flour. No, should I use a hint? I think I might, you know, I always do this, but to get off on the right start, you need a strong foundation. Let's bring, do we have a hint box song? Let's bring out the hint box. Let's bring out the hint box. So who do you want your hint from? She's just staring at Mimo. <laughs> Stop staring at me. I will choose Mimo. Oh okay. <laughs> Active! <laughs> round. Cereal. Uh, round, soup. Gum. Stretchy. Stre uh, <laughs> A spaghetti! Semolina! <laughs> Semolina! <laughs> Based on Mimo's Oscar winning performance, I have gone with semolina flour. Half a cup of semolina flour, one tablespoon baking powder, quarter teaspoon baking powder, and a pinch of salt. I am gonna do one tablespoon of baking powder, quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and a pinch of salt. Gonna give this a good mix, and let's move on to step two. Step number two, don't forget to add four tablespoons of the boiling point water and one tablespoon of olive oil. So I have some boiling water. I'm gonna add in four tablespoons and one tablespoon of olive oil. <laughs> Kelly and Katie are both pregnant right now. Baby's about to pop anytime. Kelly and could go into labor during this. Shoot. Literally, she could. Okay, this is mixed together. All right, step number three, mix the cookie dough. Put on tile and attach the film. 15 minute break. I didn't make any cookie dough, so I feel like there's no way I can mix something I haven't yet made. Put on tile, transfer to table, and attach the film. Lay out plastic wrap, and now we put on tile. I'm just going to collect all of this together. Right now my confidence level is probably out of five. Just because I'm not sure how I'm doing, I don't think I'm doing horribly, but I also don't think I've gotten everything correct. I think I'm gonna have to roll with the punches today. Cookie dough is gonna take a 15 minute break, and while that's happening, let's move on to the next step. Step number four, make the water. In a large slow cooker, quarter cup mint. Quarter cup and quarter cup water in a large slow cooker. There is literally a slow cooker right here. Instant pot, pot in a pot. We got a pot. Why are you looking at me like that? This is how Katie's looking at me. <laughs> I don't look like that. Quarter cup mint. Could it be mint? Cilantro. Mint. I'm gonna go with cilantro. Sauce. Are we making a sauce that we're like boiling down and we're gonna blend it later maybe? I'm gonna swap out my large slow cooker with this 
large slow cooker. I just think with all the ingredients I just listed, I feel like I'm gonna be blending. Quarter cup mint, I am doing quarter mm -hmm. cup cilantro. Quarter cup pineapple. Ginger. Why do I trust the recipe so much? I'm committing to pineapple. I'm doing a quarter cup pineapple, half inch dry dressing, half inch dry chili. I'm gonna do half an inch of chili. I love how you're measuring with your heart. Green chili. I wanna go with serrano peppers. One noodle paste, maybe tamarind paste. There's also tomato paste. Oh, I'm between tamarind paste and tomato paste. I'm getting good vibes with tamarind paste, so that's what I'm gonna do. One teaspoon of tamarind paste, two tablespoons jaggery, which I saw in step one. I'm gonna go with jaggery. I feel like it is very hard to translate that. Two tablespoons of jaggery. Half teaspoon cumin. I do think cumin would work perfectly. So I'm gonna do a half teaspoon of cumin. Half teaspoon of chai masala. I think garam masala would work better here. This is chai masala. I'm not gonna get fooled with this chai masala. I am going with garam masala. I think salt is salt. Pinch of hung. Pinch of hung. I really can only think of black pepper. You know, like it's so spicy, your tongue, it's all hung out. <laughs> Is that what happened? So spicy, you're like, <sighs> hung. And because of that, I'm going with a pinch of chili powder. Quarter cup of water. I think it's quarter cup of water. All right, next step. Step number five, mix and match. Blend until smooth. Time to mix and match. Does this feel good? Huh? You feel good? Yeah. <laughs> Spicy. <laughs> Chili pepper went up my nose. But it smells really nice. Step number six. Transfer the mixture through a slotted spoon into a bowl. Add water or a three quarter cup. It's like the SATs all over again. Okay. Slotted spoon, huh? I think I'm gonna do a, a, a sieve. I am gonna pour this through a sieve. I'm gonna lose all the sauce. Add water or a three quarter cup. I assume this has gone flippy floppy and it's actually at three quarter cups of water. Now I'm gonna add three quarter cup of water. Next step. <laughs> what? What? Step number seven, freeze for three years. <laughs> it's either fridge or freeze. I. I want to say fridge, three years, which I think is either three hours or 30 minutes. I think given pink pancake, this is gonna be fridge for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna do that. Step number eight, put one pound he wished into a pot and stir well, smooth, smooth. I wish for a Let's do Katie. It is oh. dry. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> potato. Yeah. Deep potato. Yes. I'm gonna auction off this drawing. Send me a DM on Instagram. <laughs> Tell me why you deserve this drawing, and I will choose a winner. Over here. I'm just gonna mash these potatoes in this bowl until they are smooth, smooth. So far, pink pancake seems quite savory and I was really expecting it to be sweet. Step number nine, add two tablespoon red pepper, two teaspoon coriander, one teaspoon cumin, one teaspoon of tikka masala, salt, and quarter teaspoon kashmiri pepper. Stay with him. Stay with him, stay with him. Red pepper, I believe, is gonna be chili powder. I am going with two tablespoons of chili powder. And yes, I know what you're thinking. That's really spicy, but I just feel like it makes more sense. I hope you like spice, ladies. <laughs> two teaspoon coriander. I did see my ground coriander earlier. Two teaspoons of ground coriander. One teaspoon of cumin. It's very hard to translate cumin, which is why I think cumin is cumin. One teaspoon of tikka masala. I, for some reason, think it's chaat masala. Mmm, smells so good. I assume pink pancake is Indian. Mm. Quarter teaspoon Kashmiri pepper. Oh my God, that's not chili powder. <laughs> 
Earlier, I did two tablespoons of red pepper and I used chili powder, but now it's saying to use a quarter teaspoon Kashmiri pepper. This actually says Kashmiri pepper and it only asks for a quarter teaspoon, but I put two tablespoons. Have you had Kashmiri pepper before? No. Not spicy. Okay. Oh, it's spicy. I gotta get some out. I thought the chili powder was like for like chili stew, you know? So I was like, that's fine. You okay? Let's work our way back. First, I need to add in some salt. I'm just gonna do a pinch. And two tablespoon red pepper. What could possibly be red pepper? Red bell pepper? I choose red bell pepper. I'm just gonna chop some red bell pepper and do two tablespoons of this. Stay with him, I think means to mix and combine. Pink pancake coming together. This looks spicy, but good. Let's move on to the next step. Step number 10, prepare the soup. <laughs> Heat the mustard oil in a large pot to 350 degrees. Prepare the oil. Prepare the soup, prepare the pot. Prepare for frying. I need a heat source. Time to prepare the soup. This soup is gonna be a little oily because I am going in with all oil. I'm gonna do vegetable oil. I'm gonna bring this to 350 and then we'll move on to the next step. Step number 11, take a spoonful of flour, pour it into a small bowl and make a circle with a diameter of two with a pin. Rolling pin, take a spoonful of flour, flour. I have my flour now and I am going to pour a spoonful into a small bowl. Small bowl. What if I put a small in here and then I press it down, make it flat like this, two inches in diameter? I'm gonna try that. I got some saran wrap to line the bowl. You know what? I'm just gonna roll this out. I realize I'm completely ignoring the part where it says pour it into a small bowl. But we all learn from our mistakes, is what I like to say. So actually, it's just take some flour and like pour it onto the bowl. I'm not sure. Oh gosh. Why am I putting it into a small bowl? What's with the bowl? Look at them. What are they even talking about? I'm going back to this. This is pink pancake. I don't know how thin to make this. I got a two inch circular cookie cutter here and I'm just gonna make as many rounds as I can. Honestly, this is pretty fun. It feels like I'm making little pancakes. Step number 12. Add the chips to the hot oil until it turns a golden green color with cinnamon holes. Repeat the same procedure on the other side. So I think I'm going to take some chips and I'm gonna add it to the oil until it turns a nice golden brown. I think cinnamon holes is like bubbles, but we'll see. I'm looking for it to get a beautiful golden brown. Oh, it's risen. I'm gonna flip it because it's golden brown on the bottom. This is a nice golden brown. I'm just gonna remove it to the wire rack to drain the excess oil. The first one was just a test, so now I'm gonna drop more in. I feel pretty good about about this. I'm not sure if it's right, but I like don't feel like I'm completely wrong and I feel like we're on the right track. Could be like a street food. My confidence level before was at a five. I gotta say, even though I'm feeling pretty good, it's currently at a four. So you're feeling not great. Things happen, you know? Next step, step number 13. Pour into a bowl with the help of a cloth and repeat with remaining bread. Pour into a bowl with the help of a cloth. Confidence level is now a two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see, okay. I think it means, so remove the chips onto a wire rack and repeat with the remaining chips. <laughs> Confidence level back to five. I'm gonna repeat with the remaining dough and then we'll move on to the next step. Next step, step number 14. Mix one tablespoon of bindi to water. Uh, I don't know what Bindi is. I think it's time for a hint. <laughs> Kelly! <laughs> I would like you to <laughs> sing it! Oh, oh, oh. Guys, I've been saying since fourth grade chorus. Why haven't you sung since fourth grade? Somebody told me I was a bad singer and I haven't sung since. Well, we <laughs> want to hear you sing. We are here to bring justice. Remember when you made that water that water, <laughs> that water, that water, and then maybe add some tiny little balls to your water. water. <laughs> and that's the end of the song. When I made the water, the water, 
the sauce. My water is the sauce. I'm gonna go get the sauce. What are my balls? Are these my balls? Oh! Boondy! It tastes like little crunchy fried bits. It reminds me a little of like tempura. One tablespoon of bindi to my water. My water. <laughs> Step number 15. Scrape the top of the pan with a spoon. Add two tablespoons of potatoes and nectarine chutney men. Scrape the top of the pan with a spoon. What pan? Scrape the top of the pan with this. Oh, is this like fancy plating? You know, like you put the sauce on the back of the spoon and you're like, ugh. So I am taking a spoonful of my water mm -hmm. and adding it here and I'm scraping. Add two tablespoons of potatoes. Two ta oh, my potatoes. I'm gonna make it nice and pretty. Two tablespoons of potato. You in the bowl. Yeah, <laughs> why the bowl again? I'm just shaping it into a ball. I have two tablespoons of potato. And nectarine chutney men. Are these my nectarine chutney men? I think this is my nectarine chutney men. Okay. Stop laughing. <laughs> step number 16, last and final step. Still in the coffin and good. I'm in the coffin. <laughs> I don't know if this is right, but here we have it, everyone. This is what pink pancake has turned out to be. Let's bring in the real dish. Are you ready? No. <laughs> okay. All right, open your eyes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, where did I go wrong? First impressions, they look very different. Pink pancake, what is this? That is pani puri, wow. which is an Indian street food. Very popular. I said street food. You did. And I did say Indian. And people have been wanting us to do this. We almost did this last season. People have been <gasps> wanting us to do this for a long time. See, we hear you, everyone. If you have more recipe suggestions, don't be afraid. Though I was afraid today. I really... <laughs> Season two, off to a rocky start, <laughs> but it's okay. I love what we've made. I don't know how I will love the way it tastes. Cheers. That's not bad. Do you guys want to try it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Stop laughing. Compliment. Good chip. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's actually I not like that it. spicy. Okay, let's give this a try. Cheers. Mmm. That is so good. That is phenomenal. So what do you think? Pink Panther versus Pani Puri? A hundred percent. Pani Puri is so much better than Pink Pancake. But I will say, Pink Pancake was not bad. Honestly, that's the fun of Lost in Translation, coming up with new dishes, even if they don't end up as good as the original. All right, guys, that was a lot of fun. Make sure to tune in next week. We got a lot of surprises coming your way. And if you want to check out the merch, make sure to check the link out below. Bye! Bye. Bye. Best singer. Uh, no one. Katie. Maybe me. <laughs> 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 it's not my fault. It was not my fault. Hey. One. <laughs> Remember when you made that water? That water. <laughs> <laughs> you made that water. That water. I'm crying so much. Tiny little balls to your water.